hello today we're going to customize our galaxy y using uh, UO, uot kitchen um, right now it is full but it will open soon so we will begin So let's begin by getting those system files. Follow the directories that I go to. System app. Now we need to get system U. There it is. Copy. Just put it into your SD card root directory shouldn't be a problem there we go and we go back and we get the rest of the files again go to system system this time we go to framework And we look for Framework REST is the first one. Copy that again to um, your SD card. Paste. And the last one. Go to the same directory. System. framework and this time look for TW framework there we go not the Java the IP key so copy again to the SD card now you need to transfer these files to your computer and modify them using the kitchen. Okay, so it is open. So let's begin with, for example, the battery. Press battery, use this mod. And from here, choose black taskbar, by the way. It's by default, but anyways, be sure to have this. Now choose your um, design, for example this one, you can generate preview from here, the red is for uh, low battery, green for medium, blue for full, from here you can change colors, here is for the low battery, in the numbers I choose, so I'm gonna leave that to you to customize for yourself, next you can go here to icons, um, these are the icons in the status bar choose um, black status bar icons and from here you pick um, your desired icons you can preview from them from here for example we will choose these cyan breath now next you can choose um, customize status bar be sure to choose LDPI if you're going to use this I'm not going to um, I'm not really interested in these and after you are done picking your desired mods and all that go to file upload and choose these settings update binary type galaxy leave these as they are do not change anything leave this as well um, choose MDPI LDPI leave do not take any of these um, and from here take upload system files now from here select your framework res 
which you downloaded from your phone the original file so my status bar there we go framework s save it is uploading system UI file there we go um, this this one is not needed and here is the next one the third upload this as well you can see they are almost done uploading okay it's done and go to summary if it's in green everything is okay if it's in red you have some problems you're going to have to go back and um, change some stuff so it's green submit work to kitchen and it will start cooking you see this here it's giving you an order number you're gonna have to wait at least five minutes for it to come um, remember this number by the way and go to pickup page and your recently cooked files here it should appear um, refresh the page every one minute or two and it will appear very soon so um, once your file is cooked it appears here you can download now so um, just click save put it somewhere or you can save it directly to your SD card if your phone is connected so um, transfer it to the root directory of your SD card and after this we boot to uh, stock recovery you don't need quack what more this time simply stock recovery also if you would like your default icons like a backup simply go to the kitchen again do not choose any mods any of this it is simple simply choose the same options and upload your original files against so it will make for you a washable zip file like here you simply choose again everything type galaxy and you cook it wait and then flush to restore your default icons so let's continue on with the guide okay now that you have the zip file transferred to your SD card turn off the phone before that take a, look, a last look at the last battery icons you see I'm using this one now let's turn off the phone and flush that zip now you are probably familiar on how to do to recovery by holding home button volume up and power at the same time apply update from SD card and here is our file that we cooked earlier press home to install install complete now reboot the system and enjoy the new status bar icons and here we go this is the new icon the battery you see the little circle and of course you have the signal I'm in plane mode at the moment flight mode just need to turn it off Oops, let's click
there we go you see it's blue the one we picked from the kitchen same for the packet data icon it's blue well that's about it like I've mentioned earlier be sure to have a backup of your original icons in case you want to go back instead of flashing you can simply use a zip file instead of restoring your stock ROM and that is all thank you for watching